What is up, guys? Happy me out of Monday. We're back at the junkyard to kick this one off. This is kind of a last ditch effort to find some more Miata parts locally. And uh, there's a Miata here. This is my first time at this yard. It's kind of unorganized, um, but it's pretty cool. They seem to have a lot of stuff. So I'm in the foreign section. <laughs> And I'm just starting at row one and seeing if I can find this Miata somewhere. It's a 96, so it could have literally everything we could need for our car. So, fingers crossed, and uh, let's see if we can find something cool. Oh, come on, dude. Are you kidding me? Ugh. Oh. Man, what is with these cars? Everybody wants a piece. Everybody wants a piece. Man. Hmm. Guess what, though? We could use that. Uh, probably doesn't work with all that water in it, huh? Somebody cut it. Dang nabbit. Dude. Man, help yourself, right? Just take whatever you want. That's cool. Golly. I have a zoom zoom sticker. Oh. Dang. Well, this wasn't as promising as I was hoping it was, but maybe I can get the side mirrors. In pretty good shape. I doubt they'll come off with the screwdriver I have. Man, they took everything. Unbelievable. Well, let me see what I can get out of this. Alright guys, we made it back home. I didn't film a lot of the junkyard because um, it was really really hot and I didn't want you know to draw attention to myself There was some guy that was right by me. That was really weird. So whatever, but anyway, let me show you what I got 24 bucks dude 24 bucks got all this stuff First we got ourselves a battery vent. I don't think we have this on the Miata. So got ourselves a battery vent How about these? They got two mirrors in very good condition um, I believe these are OEM It's black the car was black so two of these we got I believe it's a spare tire hold down pretty sure that's what that is I got a hook for the battery we got the battery tray we got a kick panel cover for the carpet in the rear and lastly two battery tie downs for the trunk area which I'm pretty sure that I don't have so yeah, all that for 24 bucks, man, that is a deal. So let's pop this trunk real quick and see what's in here because honestly, I don't really remember. Ah, there's lots of dirt. Um, and yeah, there is a battery. But yeah, see, look, we are missing the vents and we are missing those tie downs that I just picked up. So, oh, are we? Yeah, yeah, we are, we're missing the tie downs. I don't know why, but we are. So, so good on me for grabbing those pieces. I gotta get this stupid battery out of here and recycle it or do something with it. I doubt it's any good to anybody. So, figure out what to do with that thing in a minute. All right, guys, we're about to get to work. Look who just came home. <laughs> One of the things I was able to sneak out of the junkyard was a little cap for the windshield wiper reservoir. Did Kelly get it installed right? What about that part? What part? This part? Yeah. Where does it go? Here? Yeah. You got it. You got it. Get it around there. Oh, did you get it? Yeah. Nice. I installed it. <laughs> installed. Is that on there all the way? Yeah, it is. All right, good job. Right. Well, that's done. Let's start it up. <laughs> all right, Kelly is starting to disassemble the engine. Is that all of them? Ooh, what's in there?
We're missing something. Missing a camshaft. <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I got that right. Which one? Um, this one. <laughs> <laughs> which is which side? Yep, so it's the exhaust side. The, exhaust side. the air comes in here and goes out there. So this would be the intake side. Okay. And that's the exhaust side. And they should be labeled, or maybe they're not. On Hondas, they're labeled I and E. Mm -hmm. But you see here on top of the guides, there's an arrow pointing towards the front of the engine. And this is timing belt. Timing belt? <laughs> timing belt, yep. Yeah. Timing belt, yep. Yeah. It's broken. It's broken. That's, they probably cut that when they removed the cam. We actually knew there was no cam in here. Um, the guy who I got it from, TJ, told me that they had removed it for another Miata because apparently there's some sort of trick where if you pull an exhaust cam out, you can have it like reground or cut and put it on the intake side for a bump in horsepower. I've never actually heard of that mod, but that's why there's no exhaust cam here. It was stolen for that. I think it looks pretty good in here. Comment below and let me know what you guys think of the inside of this engine. But yeah, I mean, this is kind of the color you're looking for. I don't see any issues or anything like that or something jumping out saying oh my god what happened so looks pretty good how's the back of that look oh, that's the color that's that's how it looks so yeah you can pull this whole thing out we're gonna get a new one of those okay it's valve cover gasket oh okay yeah that's going to the trash all right so next step why don't we take off this upper timing belt cover here looks like it's gonna be i don't know what happened there but we're going to need a couple more 10 millimeter bolts and we'll take this cover off. Sweet. All right, we got the timing belt cover off, at least the upper part. So now we're going to go ahead and take off this uh, radiator hose here. Kelly's going to first time attempting to do this. Let me handle it first. <laughs> <laughs> and then we're going to go ahead and check our thermostat. So we're going to take this apart too. So you're going to need some pliers and see if you can make that happen. That's not not that easy. Yep, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it, squeeze it. Now try it. That's right, wiggle it off. Then you can go that way too if you want. That hose has been, look at you. I was gonna say that hose has been on there for a hundred years. It's not just gonna come off. Well, maybe it will. Keep going. <laughs> it's the easiest any hose has ever come off of any car <laughs> in the history <laughs> of the goodness. world. <laughs> Holy crap, that was incredibly easy. That's never happened to me before. Yeah, that's a girl. Good job. Can I take them off? Yep, now we take this off. All right, now let's uh, gently see if we can get this off of here. Yep. All right, so this is the thermostat. This thing opens and closes. What's mm -hmm. the once the car gets up to temp, that thing's in there pretty good. Doesn't want to come out. We'll have to get a screwdriver. All right, with the use of the screwdriver, we are able to get it off gently. And, uh, yeah, I mean, it looks good. It's just old. But, man, I'm telling you, the Prelude, the, it was just covered in gook and junk and gummed up like you wouldn't believe. This is so nice to see. So beautiful. It's amazing. All right, Kelly and I are trying to get this belt off here, so we're gonna loosen the tension on the alternator to loosen this belt up. So that's loose? Yep. Okay, now let's go ahead and loosen that. <laughs> Yay! <laughs> yeah, that belt, pretty shot. But you never know, we'll save it just to make sure that we get the right size. All right, now let's take off this pulley here. Let's get rid of this terrible hose. Let's take this hose off so it's out of our way. And let's take this pulley off and see what's underneath there. It's just the same thing as the other See if this one comes off as easy <laughs> as the other one, huh? All right, well, welcome to the real world of working on cars. <laughs> oh, you got it. Ew. Dead bug in there. Ew. Yep. Cool. It's petrified. <laughs> All right, so we got this off. I think this is the water pump, water pump pulley. I think that's what it was. Very technical here, extreme daily drivers. It's broken. At all. Why does that look cool? Oh, look at that, it's needed a lady's touch. <laughs> So 
Sweet. While he's doing that, I'm going to take a beer break. <laughs> So we're making great progress. We've got the header off. We got this thing tore down pretty well, but like every teardown on every engine in the history of the world, there is always one bolt that, that doesn't want to cooperate. So we've been trying all sorts of things to get it loose. Kelly suggested spraying it with WD-40 and let it sit. It's hilarious. That never works, ever, Why? ever, it never, ever. It, to do that it. does not work. Don't even bother. Trust me. <laughs> Trust me. So, uh, yeah, we get this bolt off. Then we basically will have the block torn down the way we want it. And uh, we'll drain the oil, and that'll be the video. But we got this one bolt here that we're going to have to wrestle with. So we'll make it happen. But can we just real quickly just take in the prelude right here? I mean, does this thing just look absolutely killer just sitting here like this? And, you know, the XP's not bad either. But, man... Sweet. So you know things are getting desperate when the vice grips come out, man. This is uh, this is desperate times. Let's see if it'll work. Godspeed. No. Oh, well, maybe. What? I thought it's not move. It may have, but now I'm oh, I'm hitting into that. Yeah. There, there, you can only turn the wrench so much. You know what I'm saying? So. It looks like the um, stud move. Well, yeah, it looks like that. The, and the it, steel broke. Okay. Well, it's fine if the stud moves. I mean, that, we don't give two craps about that stud. No. Yeah. So I'm just smashing it. There's just there's just no room in there. If you ever need to use this on your car, you're in trouble. <laughs> this is never the right tool. Holy cow. Well, you're kind of... Do you think my plan's going to work? No. <laughs> Good news. He got it. Yay. All right. The Dremel helped? For the first time ever, the Dremel did something. <laughs> it was such trash. Well, then I can take it for my nails. Do my nails with them. <laughs> you will find the same thing that I've always found. Too. So what I did was I used the Dremel to notch it, cut it as much as I can, and then I used that hammer and chisel to smash in here and then, in, in theory, kind of open it up. And then you saw I was able to take it off my hand. Nice. So it worked. The hell with you? Garbage. All right, let's get this oil filter off. We're gonna drain the oil. All right. All right. Oh, watch your hand, it's all over your hand. Ah. <laughs> I didn't know that was gonna happen. Oh, gosh. <laughs> yeah, that's not so bad. Break it in my gloves. Break it in your gloves, that's right. Okay. All right, so I mean that oil actually looks good. It's just old. Now we gotta take the one off of here. Yeah. See what's in the pan. Why is that so hard to remove? I don't know. <laughs> okay, okay, hold on. Let's strange spots here. There it is. Nice job. That wasn't hard at all. What? Come on. This is going to start. Whoa. Hey, how about that shot, huh? That was like perfect. It's going to start dripping all over the floor here in a minute. All right, so we made some good progress today, but just before we were about to wrap this whole video up, we realized that we may have a massive issue on our hands. And when looking at the crank, I kind of noticed that we got a problem right where the Woodruff key goes. That looks totally jacked up there to me. So I got a, a little text message out to my engine builder to see if this thing is effed. It's possible we need a new crank if that is kind of screwed beyond repair, which to me, it looks like it is. Um, but we'll have to see. So anyway, guys, we're going to wrap the video up here. Thank you so much for watching. Please like, please subscribe. Let me know what you think 
of the uh, crank down there. The Woodruff key was broken when we pulled the pulley off. I didn't realize it until just the very end here where we were cleaning up. So let me know if you think it could be repaired. Let me know if you have a crank, <laughs> right? <laughs> let me know if you have a crank for 1.8. Next week, we're going to clean this engine up and get it ready for paint. So anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching, and we'll see you next time. Bye. See ya.